I have a confession. I'm a cheat. I love to cheat cooking. My cooking is all about easy, convenient and tasty recipes. Hello and Ramadan Kareem. Welcome to Cartoon's Kitchen. I am Nasima Cartoon. My ethos during Ramadan is not to overindulge, not to go overboard and try and eat more healthy. For iftar, we normally have a very simple meal. Sometimes just we treat it like any other day when we're eating, like a curry and rice or couscous and grilled food and in terms of snacks we do like our pakoras but we try to put them in the air fryer which still tastes quite nice and we love our tortilla samosas the good thing about tortilla samosas is they don't need a lot of oil to fry and you don't have to fry them you can put them in the oven you can put them in the air fryer spray them with a little bit of oil and that does the trick and um, even the samosas the normal samosas the ones you can buy from the shops you can put them in the air fryer as well Condiments are good side dishes to have during your iftar meal. Condiments are side dishes such as salads, dips and sauces or chutney. They are not just a healthy alternative but they can add a lot more flavour to your main dish and having them with your main meal will stop you eating too much as well. Sauces that I like to have are things like a mint yogurt sauce and uh, hummus and baba ganoush. Especially with things like baba ganoush, there is not just the yogurt, but there is lots of vegetables like the eggplant, there's tahini, there's garlic, there's also ground cumin and lemon juice. These are all good source of food to have during your iftar meal. When the days are getting quite warm, you can also make a lot of different types of cold drinks like mojitos, mocktails, and I'll be showing you some of those recipes as well. The other good tip for Ramadan is also prepare as much in advance as possible. Um, if you are the type of person who does like their snacks, you can freeze just about anything, whether it's daybread, chaat, chana, um, samosas, you can semi-fry pakoras and freeze them. It can be done to save time, especially for those people who are working full-time and looking after kids throughout the week. One of the main way I prepare in advance is to have my masala paste cooked for the week. So this is a combination of a whole lot of onions, garlic and ginger cooked thoroughly and then added the spices in and by doing that I can have it all prepared so I'm not every, I'm not cutting onions every day I'm not chopping garlic and ginger every day and making the masala from the from scratch this masala paste has been a lifesaver for me I use it for my roast chicken for my peri peri chicken chicken wings meat curry chicken curry even fish curry it does save a lot of time you can watch how I made it on my YouTube channel after this video. This masala paste can be frozen, which you can keep for a good few months, or you can keep one tub in the fridge and use it as and when needed. The other tip for Ramadan is not to spend too much time thinking about food. We know it's difficult, but it does help not thinking about food. So structure your day with your kids, with activities, with reading time, quiet time, self-reflection time, and some TV time. 